The National Commercial Bank Jamaica Limited NCB is alerting the public about a QR code scam targeting users of its automated banking machine, the APMs. In a statement today, NCB stated that fraudsters have been mounting posters inside its ABMs with QR code claiming that the customer can win over $1 million in cash and prizes by clicking on the link. This is a phishing scam. Phishing is a fraudulent attempt to obtain sensitive information, often through deceptive emails, message, or in this case QR code posing as a trustworthy entity. Unwitting customers who scan those codes are misled into providing their private banking information such as their PIN and internet banking login details, which scammers then exploit to access accounts and misappropriate their funds. We are deeply concerned about this new deceptive tactic and its potential impact on our customers, stated Dan Nicholson, head of fraud prevention at NCB. It's essential for everyone to remember that NCB will never send unsolicited links or ask customers to share their private banking details outside of our secure banking platforms. Fraudsters continue to be extremely creative in their tactics, so we urge customers to stop and think before they click on links, scan QR codes, or give out any personal banking details, Nicholson added. NCB further stated that his, this latest incident underscores that scammers employ various statics, including sending deceptive SMS messages, crafting urgent or warning email and other methods designed to instill fear or urgence in the recipients. These statics, the bank stated, are meant to rush individuals into making hasty decisions without verifying or the authenticity of the request. Customers are urged to be cautious and avoid clicking on links are scanning QR codes that lead to website requesting banking information. NCB also encourages customers to report any suspicious activities or questionable materials found inside or near the ABM machines. Our top priority is the safety and security of our customers' money. We are working closely with local law enforcement to address this issue and bring these fraudsters to justice, said Nicholson. He added, as always, NCB reminds its customers to keep their banking details confidential. If there is ever a doubt about the legitimacy of any communication received claimed to be from NCB Bank, customers are encouraged to contact the bank directly at 888 NCB first are 6223477. The crazy thing about this in a NCB is that you talk about be careful at the ATM machines as well, but you never elaborate on what exactly people are supposed to be looking for at the ATM machines. I've seen where they have like adverts that is there near the machine where they said you can use this to get either some loan or something or the other or get some money and thing i don't even look at them something the second time but i think it would have been justified by elaborating because somebody going to an ncb bank itself and go to the atm machine and when they go to the atm machine anything they see there where the atm machine is they are going to think of it as it's safe because we at NCB Bank. You understand? And a lot more should be done to make sure that all these ATM machines are checked to make sure stuff like that is not near them. Because if people are going to go into the ATM machine and see stuff like this, obviously something that Uno can see too. Well, get rid of it. Move it as much as possible. If you know it is prevalent. You understand? You have security people there that, that help deal with ATM machines. Uh, so especially when you're going to the main offices like i more likely use the one in half a tree where all the where the bank is and where so much more atm machine choices are so if it is in a case like that 
and it's not isolated machines out in the country where you don't really have security man in them make sure that it is secure and look around and make sure say anything that is to send the customers fishing thinking it's okay that it is cleared away from the area and elaborate more on the ones at the ATM machine since more people are using them to make sure it's safe because I'm thinking that I'm going to get information on exactly exactly what to look for and so on and thing and maybe I will understand because nothing can draw me out especially to my little two cent but what about the person who don't understand but if you come out and give more information on what to expect at the ATM machines, at least people will definitely understand what not to, to, to draw their attention. And another thing, why is it that NCB specific have so much problems? Could it be the same workers that is causing so much problems? A lot of them may be scammers. You understand? something need to be done ncb need to ship shape up scrape up organize reorganize because too much problem is coming up with ncb bank it's just too much attorney at law bert samuel says vibes cartels health played a major role in his legal team applying to the united kingdom privy council to expedite the hearing into the appeal against the murder conviction of the dancehall artist and three other sean storm campbell kaira jones and andre st john the case which had been set for april of 2024 has been moved up to february samuels yesterday described it as a long journey and said it was not surprised that the privy council had granted their request humanitarian grounds are always attractive said samuels who is representing campbell Medical reports are were submitted outlining the health challenges and I am happy that the date has been moved forward. This case is deserving of being expedited. In May, Isaac Buchanan, the attorney representing Cartel, whose real name is Adija Palmer, said in an interview with Fox 5 News New York that his 47-year-old client was suffering from grave disease an autoimmune disorder which he has been battling for seven years there have also been reports of the entertainer suffering from two heart conditions we wanted to get the hearing at the end of the year but we couldn't get an earlier date so it was a compromise and we have two days february 14 and 15. we are prepared samuel said director of public prosecution paula Llewellyn, could not confirm the new February date, but said her team would have been made aware of the application to expedite the hearing and would have responded to affidavits and medical reports. But ultimately, it was up to Palmer's team to justify the need for the hearing to be brought forward. Palmer, Campbell, Jones and St. John were all handed life sentences in April 2014 for the 2011 Take out of Clive Livard Z. Williams. Prosecutor said the murder took place at Palmer's house in Avondale, St. Andrew, in April 2020, two years after the Court of Appeal in Jamaica upheld Palmer's take out conviction. His legal team took the decision to appeal to the island's highest court, the Privy Council. Summers point out that the men have been in custody for 12 years and that the four appellants included Ajija Palmer are looking at freedom. He pointed out that Palmer case has the distinction of being the longest takeout trial in the island's history. What do I mean by that? There are 6,500 pages of evidence and I had to read every line. An average long takeout case has 1,000 pages and last six weeks cartel case lasted four and a half months we made them into nine volumes two inches thick samuel said in february the nine member team which includes samuels buchanan bianca samuels linda hudson and john clark of the jamaica side along with four lawyers based in the uk will present the case at the privy council not all members of the team will fly to england for the matter however this brings into sharp focus 
just how expensive a privy counts appeal can be for poor people. You have to apply for visas, buy airline tickets to go to England, pay for accommodation. It is a horrible long situation, Samuels declared. So guys, we are watching this case and see if all will go well for Cartel so he will be able to be free to do his operation. Or will his sentence be lessened? Or will he still stay in the lockup? Only time will tell. Let's watch and see in February what the Privil Council decides. Anyway guys, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my platform please. Love you all. Bye for now.